I'm Oliver Maldonado. I'm a high school dropout and lifelong underdog. Even though I was against all odds, I earned enough money to semi-retire at 32. That's when I came up with this idea to make this documentary. Even though I was raised poor and the underdog my whole life, that didn't stop me from making a lot of money. And the cash sure started rolling in. I paid cash for sports cars, for luxury vehicles. I bought a Dodge Viper, a yacht, a Hummer to tow it with. A 645 BMW convertible, two Range Rovers, two motorcycles, huge houses. I was living the dream. Little did I know the dream would turn into a nightmare. Hi. We're from Fox 31 News. We wanted to talk to Mr. Maldonado. Deputy Attorney General Jan Zavisian is investigating Oliver Maldonado and American Mortgage Consultants. If you write a book, if you sell that book, if you transmit that book to anyone in our jurisdiction, we will investigate you and arrest you. The documentary turned into a battle against the government to protect my First Amendment rights of freedom of speech. The government tried to shut me down. They didn't like what I was saying about how easy it was to make money in America. So they wouldn't let me speak about it. They wouldn't let me film. They wouldn't even let me write about any of it. Even though I was never convicted of any wrongdoing, the government spread rumors about me to the media. They wanted to see me fail and they wanted the public to see it also, that the underdogs cannot succeed in America, not if they had anything to do with it. They tried to stop me from making this documentary. They spent millions and millions of taxpayer dollars to try to drain me of all my finances, hoping to completely sabotage me and to stop me from being able to speak about what they had done to me. I went broke defending myself and my freedom of speech and trying to finish this documentary. I know what it's like to feel helpless and hopeless, and I want to show everyone that against all odds, with persistence, tenacity, and dedication, you can still succeed and accomplish anything in America. You can win against all odds in our country still. I fought the government and I won to protect everyone's First Amendment rights, not just my own. If it happened to me, it could happen to you. I won the war, but I lost everything I had in the process. But this documentary isn't just about the government. It's about how to start a business and be successful and how to overcome obstacles. Even after you've lost everything, starting from nothing, yet again. This documentary is about the human spirit to succeed. That's in all of us. We all have the same opportunities in this country. The reality is we can all succeed if we so chose to, even against all odds and challenges. I've started another company with less than $3,000 and it's my mission to finish this documentary. Believe me, if I can succeed against all odds, so can you. You'll witness that somebody like me with no education can start with hardly any money. I've spent over four years documenting this journey. I represent all underdogs. You can be a part of something bigger than yourself. You can actually be a part of this documentary and part of something that people need. People need to be inspired. Supporting this project, we can both be a part of something bigger than ourselves. We can make a huge difference and inspire others to keep on keeping on, even when it seems helpless. I'm hoping that this documentary will inspire everyone. The fact is, we're all born underdogs. The only perfect time that we've got is when we're still in the womb. Once we're born, we're against all odds. We start dying the very second that we're born. We're greeted into the world by a smack on our behind from the doctor. And that's our wake up call that it's gonna be a grind. All benefactors will also be given an executive producer credit in the final cut. So you'll literally be a part of this documentary. We can all make a huge difference in people's lives and hopefully inspire others as we've been inspired. I know together we can make a difference and I thank you in advance for your contribution to our documentary. I also thank you for taking the time to learn something about what affects us all. And I wish all of you great success in any of your own projects or any project you decide to align yourself with. People like all of us here are the ones that can really make a difference in this world. So thank you for giving me a platform to share my passions and opinions with. The fact is that just the, the, the fact that you're here means that we're all kindred spirits and each of us in our own way want to make a difference in the world and that inspires me so I thank you. The money raised for this project will go to secure an award-winning post-production company to finalize on the editing of the final cut along with award-winning graphic artists to cover the scenes that the government wouldn't allow me to film and for music for the rights in the final cut as well. I thank you again for your time and good luck.